Good evening. Welcome to Pat's Card Corner and it's time for another Therapy Thursday. So I hope you all are excited and are ready because I have something a little different and very fun um, for us to try tonight or for you to try. Um, or if you don't try it tonight, you might <clears throat> want need to try it another day. But <clears throat> it's definitely going to be fun. So what we are going to do is hold on. Um, I have lots of supplies here and it's a little different so this is kind of a technique um, card and but it's a lot of fun and I think you'll enjoy it and it'll be a great way to try something new so if you saw in the new annual catalog this year there is a um, set of designer series paper called Expressions in Ink. And I'm just gonna share them with you real quick. Right here you can see, if you haven't seen it, you can see um, a lot of pretty patterns. And there's some orange, there's some darker colors, and some other greens. Oop. So these are one side, and you can see they're very kind of watercolor-ish kind of looking. And the other side, I'm going to flip them over if I can get them flipped over. And hopefully you can actually see these papers. Let's flip them over. And this is the other side. So there is a real pretty um, gold. There's some more um, look like watercolor flowers. Um, in fact, the stamps um, have very much that look on it. Here's another one. Um, there's another kind of orange and pink there's some other flowers and then there's this one and there are some um, gold accents in this paper as well so but you can kind of see um, and this one's a great example how it um, looks you see darker and lighter colors and they're kind of um, kind of spread out kind of like you've dropped ink on a paper so I'm going to show you how to make this your own so if you don't have any of this paper you can make kind of that same design with the supplies that we have tonight so we are going to need um, you are going to need some Stampin' Blends markers you can choose any colors you want or any kind of um, alcohol based markers um, like these so tonight I am trying and I haven't tried this before so not with this color we are going to try using some um, different shades of purple and we are going to need some embossing folders um, for later so I actually have two one we're going to use for the cardstock background and the other we're going to actually be um, embossing our vellum because that's what we're going to be using um, put our stuff on if you hear a kind of a weird noise that is my garage door going up because my husband's going out so um, you will need for this card a piece of um, basic white thick cardstock and this piece is four and a quarter by eleven we are going to score it in half you can use an eight and a half by five and a half if you'd like um, your cards to open the more traditional way. Um, mine is going to actually open from the top, so that's why I have this size. You're going to need a piece of basic white um, cardstock that is four by five and a quarter. You're going to need a piece of whatever colors um, you're using. I'm using purple, so I chose this purple. We might change it depending on how our thing comes out. Um, this piece is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths and then you're going to need a piece of vellum that is four by five and a quarter this is what we're going to be coloring with and um, making our design with and then you're going to need um, just some kind of um, tag um, for to put your sentiment on it could be a circle a square it could be anything you want um, I just chose this one because it's kind of a good all-around size I am going to be using the Peaceful Moments um, stamp set because it has a lot of different um, sentiments on it and depending on how the card comes out is what kind of card it's going to be. If it looks like it's a happy design, it's going to be maybe more of a birthday. If it looks a little more not quite so happy, then it might be a sympathy card. So 
but this is a great all-around stamp set um, if you don't have it it has every occasion on it and I use this all the time um, it's a great stamp set to have so we are going to get started one of the other things you're going to need is um, this is one of the um, water or water painting they didn't call it water painting I'm trying to think of the right word that they use um, but I filled it with alcohol it has 91% alcohol in it rubbing alcohol in it and it comes in a bottle like this I just bought this at my local Rite Aid drugstore um, you can probably find it in any drugstore um, that you know that is near your house it's usually back in the section where they sell like band-aids and antiseptic and stuff like that so um, but it's 91% and you need to get the 91% um, I did try this with the 71% and it just didn't come out as well some of the colors didn't come out as well so you do need the 91% and I just put it inside one of these water painters and I made sure I labeled it so I know that there's alcohol in here and not water because you know once it's in here you can't tell so if you don't have one of these you can use a little paper cup and a little paintbrush and just dip your paintbrush in that it'll work the same exact way as what we're going to do so I am going to uh, in case you want to look at those you don't need a whole lot of supplies right there so that's all you need and we are going to move these out of the way um, I am going to score this real quick and then we are going to um, go ahead and make our card. So this is four and a quarter by 11, and we're gonna score it at five and a half, which is half of 11, which will be right in the middle. Move my, oh, my blade wasn't in there. There we go. Wasn't in the track there for a minute. And we've got that all scored. Okay, and then I'm just gonna fold that in half real quick. And somewhere in here, yep, there it is, and my bone folder. So this is going to be ready when we are. And I'm just going to move that out of the way, and I'm going to bring in the piece of vellum. Okay, so this is super easy, super simple, but you will need several shades of whatever color you're going to use. Um, the original card that I made, I did in different shades of pink, and I also, um, and I hope she's gotten it by now, um, in fact, I'm sure she has. Um, one of my stampers' husband came by to make his wife a card, and it came out beautiful. It really did a great job. Um, he, her favorite color is blue, so he chose all different shades of blue. And um, one day, I'm going to get her to take a picture of it, and so that I can show everybody how how awesome um, his card came out. So anyway, but we are using different shades of purple. So the ones I have are Blackberry Bliss, Fresh Freesia, and Highland Heather. And you want ones that are dark and light. So this is the darkest one. So I'm gonna just take that. And all you're gonna do with the brush end is you're just gonna kinda scribble on your paper, on the vellum, just kinda random, however you want. Um, and we're gonna actually color in the whole piece. So, but you also want some light colors. So this is the Fresh Freesia Light. So we're gonna put some light on there. And we're just kind of, just kind of filling in the, the spaces here. And there's no um, right or wrong way to do this. It's just kind of whatever you feel like. And hopefully this is gonna work. And then we're gonna do some Highland Heather see that and if I don't like the way this comes out when it's done then you know I might just start again so I wasn't sure I'm not sure about the Blackberry Bliss now that I see it on here but it might look a little different once we dropped a little bit of alcohol on it so we're just basically trying to cover up the entire piece and maybe we'll try some of this dark that other one seemed kind of light so we're just gonna, just kind of filling in the spaces here. So like I said, there's no right or wrong way to color this. You can make circles if you want. 
Um, I'm just trying to kind of color in the, the spaces and that looks good enough to me. And so we're going to move these out of the way because we don't need them right now. We, if we don't like what part of it looks like, we can come back and do it. Now this is alcohol, so it does dry pretty fast. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to, you can kind of dab on it. And you can put some drops on it. And you can see how the colors, actually that blueberry looks kind of, yeah, it looks kind of red, doesn't it? The blackberry. And you can kind of see just by putting drops on here, just kind of random, that it's kind of spreading. And we're gonna kind of wait and see what happens here with our spots. You can kind of, you can also kind of brush on them if you want. Um, you can get kind of a different design if you do that. And like I said, if I don't like this, I might just kind of start over. So you can, if your brush gets kind of clean it off, just like you do if you're doing water painting. We're gonna kind of let this dry here for a minute. And we're gonna see what happens. I'm not real crazy about it at the moment. I think I put too much on it. So I'm just gonna kind of spread it around a little bit. Trying to get it to dry a little bit. I'm going to kind of wave it around a little here. I think I might have to put a little bit too much on it. Hold on just a second. Paper towels are also good to have handy, which I actually have some. So I might blot some of this off and because I think it got a little bit too wet. So we're going to just kind of blot some of that off. And let it dry and we're going to color color it again all right there we go it does curl up a little bit but that's okay move that out of the way i don't think i like the blackberry bliss on there i think it was kind of dark so i'm going to just going to go back in with the other two colors and like i said if you don't like it what you were doing you can come back whoops need the brush in and do some more until you get it how you like it. I kind of like kind of like that part, but I didn't like the other part. So we're just kind of experimenting here. Like I said, there's no right or wrong. So, but I think I like these three colors better, the light and the dark of these better than the other one. So let's put a little bit more on here and see what happens. We're gonna try kind of dotting on it this time. Here we go. Put a little bit on there. Now I'm getting more kind of what I wanted. There we go. What do you think? I am gonna brush some of that off because it was getting kind of pinky there. We are going to cut this piece smaller, so you also need to remember that. And, oops, my thing went crazy there. I'm going to put a little bit more on. Like I said, you can kind of keep playing with it until you get it how you want it. Bring back up alcohol. I kind of like this color. pretty dark over there. We're going to kind of lighten that up a little bit. Maybe kind of put a little bit over here. A little bit because I have, since it's kind of on my brush a little bit, I'm just going to kind of move it around a little. There we go. I kind of kind of liking that now. What do you think? Looks completely different from when I first started. So you can tell that, you know, just kind of by 
moving your brush around and you can kind of brush it a little bit it's, and you can get it it'll come off your brush just kind of by cleaning it off like that you can see the brush is clear again so all right I think I kind of like that and we're going to kind of keep it at that and kind of go with that so what we're going to do next is <clears throat> We had the piece of Whisper White, not Whisper White, Basic White cardstock. So when you put it underneath, this is what it would kind of look like with that underneath. If you, and I'm going to, I also have, these are the other three colors um, that match the Stampin' Blends that I have. This is the Blackberry Bliss, this is Gorgeous Grape, and this is the Fresh Freesia. I'm not sure why I don't have the Highland Heather color. But if you put a different color under it, you'll notice that it changes what it looks like. So this is what it looks like with that. And I'm gonna put it halfway so you can kind of see. So you can see the difference if you want something that's a little brighter or if you want something that's a little bit more muted. Now, if you put an even darker color under it, then it looks a little even darker. I'm not sure what this one will look like. This might be way too dark. Yeah, that's way too dark. So you don't really like that. I actually like the white the best. Um, you can also put other colors underneath it, like a pale yellow, um, like a Daffodil Delight. Um, you can try that, but I'm really kind of liking the white. So we're gonna keep it with the white. So I'm gonna put my other things away. And what we're going to do, I'm going to move these out of the way too because we're done with those. Move all these things out of the way. Um, we are going to emboss these two pieces together at the same time. So I am going to use this Pretty Flowers um, embossing folder. So I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to layer these on top of each other. And we're just going to put them in here at the same time and they're and emboss them together. So it's going to go just like that. I am going to some of the, bring in my big embossing machine. And I have the plates all set on it, I think. I think I have the right ones. Nope, I think these are not. Nope. This is a thinner folder, so hold on just a second. While I get my two plates. So for this embossing folder, because it's one of the thinner ones, you're just going to need just two of your regular plates. And we're just, whoops, I got my handle on the wrong side. I'm going to flip mine around. There we go. That'll work much better. And I'm just going to emboss it. Move this out of the way. Put that on the floor, actually. Okay. And move that out of the way. Whoop. It got stuck there. Okay. It is embossed in the same spot. It just kind of got stuck a little bit. I forgot to glue it down. That's why. That is what it's kind of looks like when it's done. You can kind of see the leafy patterns in there and the flowers in there. So I am going to glue this down real quick because I should have glued it first. But this will work. You're just going to put a little bit of glue. This will dry. And I am going to I do have a little sponge, so I am just going to kind of smear it around a little bit. There we go. And we're going to put it right back on where it embossed. And I can feel where it goes, so I know it's in the right spot. Oops, there we go. Okay. Now we have one more thing to do, and that is we are going to emboss the front of our cardstock here and I'm going to use this tasteful texture to do that. That this folder is one of the thicker ones so it does require the other sandwich but if you want to do just one side of your card and not the other 
you're just going to put it in so that it folds. The fold line is right at the edge of your um, embossing folder, and then you're just going to close it up. Oops, let me get it right, get it centered so I know it's not going to come off. There we go. And you're going to fold it up just like that. And now we're going to bring this back. to put that on there, put our plate on top, we're going to run it through our stamp and cut and emboss machine, I love this machine, it, everything is so smooth, let me tell you, and we're going to move that out of the way, and now we've just embossed just the front of our card. And this piece, we are going to cut down so that it's going to fit on this piece, just like that. So this piece, we need to cut to, uh, what are we cutting it to? To three and a half by four and three quarters. So if there's a part that you don't like, like I don't really, if you don't like that darker part, but you like the skinnier part, we are cutting it to three and a half. So we're going to cut it to there. So I might cut like some off of each side. So now this is going to be three and a half. And we're going to cut this part to four and three quarters. So I'm not kind of liking this end as much. So we're going to kind of we're going to kind of cut a quarter of an inch off each side, each end. And see how we like that. Hopefully that'll kind of cut off the part I'm not as crazy about. There we go. So, now since we've cut some of these pieces off, you might need to add a little bit of glue if you think it's you can kind of check to make sure that it's glued down on all all the four corners and then that piece we're going to put on top of this piece just like that we are going to put a little bit of ribbon around and i have a couple different ones because i wasn't sure how this was going to come out but i think this piece or do we like something darker or maybe the darker I'm kind of liking the darker. Maybe. We're going to do the darker today. So this is um, Gorgeous Grape um, Sheer Ribbon. And we're just going to kind of put it around right here. And I'm going to sit down real quick. So, no, I'm not good at standing up with that. So we are just going to put a little bit of adhesive on the back here. Let me get my adhesive going. So that we can attach our ribbon about there. And let's see. Make sure we kind of get it kind of straight. Yep. Looks kind of straight to me. A little bit right there. Cut that off, and then we're going to attach that to this piece right here. We're going to put some glue on the back. Um, using glue on things that have been embossed kind of work just a little bit better than um, the tape runner because the glue can get in all the nooks and crannies. So we're just going to attach that right there. Like I said, I'm going to show you the other card I did that I did with all pinks. This was kind of an experiment. I hadn't used any purples, but a lot of them came out very pinkish, I think, on here. I was kind of surprised, so you never know. And then that is going to go on our card front just like this. I am going to put this on with dimensionals because it wouldn't be a card made by me if I did not have dimensionals on the back. And plus, I think it just kind of looks a little 
better when it's raised up a little bit. So we're just going to take the backing off of those. And then we're going to put this on the front of our card. We'll go just like that, right in the center, just like that. And I'm going to make a little bow with this. And somewhere, yes, we're going to stamp our sentiment on there. So, what do you think? Does it look happy enough for a happy birthday? Maybe more of a thank you, a sympathy card? I'm not quite sure what I want it to be yet. Anybody have an opinion? Of course, I'm doing this not live, so I'm going to decide before you even give me your opinion. But it'd be interesting to see if you came up with the same thing I did. So I'm just going to trim that off. Trim that off. This is going to go right here, so I'm just going to kind of put it right there. Maybe over a little bit. So I am going to stamp my sentiment on here. And I think it looks like a thank you card to me. So we are going to put this stamp on a block. And stamp thank you on here. I am going to use, as soon as I find my ink, where did I put it? The Gorgeous Grape ink. Stamp that right in the middle. There we go. And I am going to put that on dimensionals too. I'll flip that over. I'm filming this during the day. It is not at night, <clears throat> even though you're seeing this at night. If you're watching on my Facebook um, page, they're um, weed eating next door to me. And I can hear the weed eater, so I'm not sure if you can hear that or not, too. Or maybe they're leaf blowing. They're doing something, but it's very loud. That's the hazards of making a video when you don't live in a soundproof house. There we go. So I did put them kind of on either side so that the ribbon will go right in between. I'm going to move it over just a little bit, kind of like that. Yeah, I think it makes a good thank you card. And then we're going to put our bow right there. I think I might have to trim it to make my bow just a tad smaller here. Yeah, I think I might trim the ends a little bit because it looks a little long. And let's trim this side up too. There we go. And then I just need a glue dot. And I have some of those. Just going to put our bow right on the glue dot. Pull it off, the glue dot's right there. Put that on like that. And there you have it. A beautiful card. Um, I don't know if, I hope you can see that that you can see all the impressions on there. And it does have that kind of watercolory look, just, well, it's a different kind of paper, just like the paper did. But we did it with vellum and alcohol and Stampin' Blends. And I'm gonna show you, as soon as I find it, the original card that I made, because I did it, we did it in pinks, and this is the original one that I had made. Oops, I need to fix my bow. Let's move that. Hold on. There we go. I like it better right there. Um, this And this was done with um, the pinks. This was um, Magenta Madness and um, Flirty Flamingo and the new pink polish or polished pink, sorry, polished pink. So that's the colors that were in this one. And then this we did with the Highland Heather and the Fresh Freesia and a little bit of the Blackberry Bliss, but 
mainly we did um, just the Highland Heather and the Fresh Freesia, and this is what we got. So those are the two cards. Let me move that out of the way. You don't need to see that. And there you go. So I hope that you'll give this a try. It's really a lot of fun. Um, it's a lot of fun trying to mix and match different colors. Um, some of the blue colors that go well together are Night of Navy with Balmy Blue and a little bit of Bermuda Bay. That makes a great um, combination. Um, so just kind of try um, colors that you like. Um, pick some dark colors and some light colors, maybe a, and a medium one, and um, just kind of put them on your card, throw a little alcohol on top, and see what happens. So I hope you give this a try. Um, all the measurements um, and some directions will be on my blog at www.jumpingintostamping.com. And thank you for joining me for another Therapy Thursday. And um, this was a lot of fun kind of experimenting because I have you have kind of have no clue what it's going to look like um, when you're finished. So I hope to see you next week. So please um, write a comment, like my video, um, just let me know what you think. All right, check you out next Thursday, Therapy Thursday.